Bum 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 bum. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're running out of Unite Morphs to buy. We only have Unite two left. Blade glider. Blade glider and Spike Ball. Unite Spike Ball. And that is all the Unite Morphs you can buy from the shop. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're done with the game now. Yep. We bought all the morphs, that's it. Chapter 7 takes place in... Uh huh? <laughs> Palace. Margarita status report. Plasma particle density down to 87%. Some sort of jamming signal is affecting... Uh, by the, the way, if you haven't noticed, it's this video is going up in 60 frames a second. Yeah, the couple previous updates will also be in 60, but... Oh, well, I didn't see those. <laughs> This is the first time I'm seeing 60 frames. Whoa. Yeah. Gath Jerk is taking full advantage of its abilities. Alice, what do we know about this Gimme's ship? It's flying to the northeast at flank speed. The projected flight path will bring it directly over Blossom City. And there's only one thing they can be after. Full power, Alice. Don't let that ship get away. Roger that. Contrail sonar to maximum sensitivity. The one thing they're after is uh, Blossom City's football team. <gasps> they're really impressive. They're so good. When they unite football. <laughs> <laughs> they have to keep the team small, otherwise the football won't fit in the end zone. <laughs> yeah. Worse. Your mission gonna be just as bad, son. Red. You sure you want to go through with this? More than ever. Prince Morgan and the entire planet are counting on us. Dang, name it. You remind me of a certain someone when he was a lick young. I he measures all of his time in licks. <laughs> in a previous life, he was that damn owl who wouldn't tell you how many licks it took. Amorta, I want you to stay here and hold Morgan's hand. I'll take a team into his body and exterminate this nano bioweapon once and for all. Is this really the time for heroics? It's now or never. We'll complete the operation and get back as soon as we can. Now, I've been around the block once or twice, but I ain't never heard of nothing like this. You're lucky I invented my nano Excel, but micronizing humans and injecting them into an alien's body? Well, it's crazier than a sack of foaming weasels, I so I, I love that. Like, Shiragana here doesn't have, like, a cure for nano bioweapons that are injected into people's bodies, so the plan is to just beat it up. I am a little worried about how his uh, uh, keyboard there doesn't have the entire alphabet. Yeah, Shiragana is just that good. He only needs some letters. S is a very popular letter. You don't have it. Also, look, his backpack is the mixer thing. Come on already, let's do this. Blue. Pink. Even as we speak, the Virgin Victory is pursuing Gimme's flagship. I give you my word. We'll capture the ship and get Luca back. I hope so. Oh, Pink has not been right since we lost Luca. Hopefully the sights that await inside our beloved Rocky will knock her out of this slump. You cannot blame her. Especially after what happened to her little brother. Oh no. How many more tragic backstories can we fit into this game? So Pink has like a mild one, but it's just mentioned in her her file you can pick up on her. Okay. And it just mentions that she might have joined the Wonderful One One because her sister got killed by the Geth Jerk, but that's it. I doubt I have to remind you, but you got a hard time limit. Here goes nothing, kids. Activating Nano Excel. Team Nano Dive. Roger. This is a, a, a side mission the Wonderful Ones are doing, so we only have ten members. All the others Ooh. are still on the ship, just in case something bad happens. Well, they couldn't all fit on the teleport platform. Yeah. Well, they could take turns on it. But yeah, yeah yellow, whatever. everybody has damaged outfits now, so Yellow ha no longer has pants. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you can't even see uh, Black's battle damage because his outfit's so small. <laughs> he, he's a tiny fellow. Also, Unite Camp, when it's just ten people, is a tiny sleeping bag. <laughs> Aww. 
And, you get, and whoever you're controlling, they just sit in the sleeping bag. <laughs> so how does it pick the uh, the three extras you get to bring along? It's entirely random. Also, uh, I've had Cyclone for the hammer for a while, but I haven't shown it off. The previous level where we fought Vorkin for the final time, uh, even when he powers up in the Teo form, if you hit him with a big bomb and then get like a hundred sized hammer and do the Cyclone, it almost kills him instantly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how powerful the hammer Cyclone can be. So we only have 10 people, which is dangerous, because even if one person gets knocked out, we can't block or dodge really, or make any kind of Unite Morph. So this fight uh, is where you want to recruit a whole lot of Geth Jerk. Because uh, these, the two big guys, they can just endlessly spawn these uh. dudes. It's just one of their attacks, and when this fight starts, they always start off with summoning a whole bunch of the little guys. Mm-hmm. Because, um, yeah, because you're in Vorkin's guts, there are no other... There are no wonderful ones to recruit or civilians, so you got to recruit the Geth Jerk here. Well, it, it's a good thing that he hasn't been eating uh, yeah. people. That might be a bit too dark for, for your uh, rival character. Mm -hmm. So one of the... It's kind of hard to launch these with a hammer, I keep missing, but I also... I bought Blade Glider. It just makes your glider what? have spikes on it. What? <laughs> that is very silly. I don't... It's not like a move that's useful at all. It's just a goofy I little thing. Tell. Um... But yeah, if you have the, uh... It's actually useful, kind of, for juggling enemies for a long time. Because you just repeatedly bump into them over and over and over again, and it actually slowly pushes them further up into the air. <laughs> oh, wow. His guts have party tentacles. Yeah. Hell yeah, woo! Don't guts! Touch, don't touch those tentacles, they electrocute you. But you can just, you can chop them up. Um... So yeah, this is a level where, for that first fight at least, having the the mines, the dodge mines, is really useful. Just because, like I did in the second boss fight of this game, uh, the mines instantly put the little guys in a recruitable state. Right. So you don't have to... It makes it really easy to get enough people. And you only really need about, like, 25 for the beginning of this mission. Mm-hmm. But 39's good. That's good. 39's good. As long as you can make a 20 size Unite Morph, uh, you're good for these first couple of fights. Because they don't throw, throw anything too big at you. And when you're blocking that guy with the hammer, it's really easy to get Hero Time and wail on him some more. Hero Time makes these guys a lot easier to manage too, just because it gives you a lot more opportunities to actually hit them. Like with this attack, only mm -hmm. you just have to dodge it, but... Blech. This is like one of two or three instances where th they spawn these snake dudes, but just one at a time. I don't quite understand it. <laughs> it it's to make the time requirement on Pure Platinum really hard. Mm. Another thing with the blade glider is that if you can actually get a lot of air with the blade glider and then descend mm -hmm. with it the blades like activate and they, they become like chainsaw blades and then they do more damage nice mm -hmm. nice <laughs> Vorkin how'd you get a toilet in you uh, it's a lymph node oh, that's okay. just what they look like ah. Vorkin how'd you get treasure inside of you he eats his cracker jacks <laughs> and doesn't really pay attention you mean there's a toy in here? But if it was actually Cracker Jack, it just would have been <laughs> an awful joke. It would have been a slip of paper. Yeah, that's a shame. And like a crappy tattoo, maybe, I don't know. I got Cracker Jacks at a Halloween party on Halloween, which is when people have Halloween parties. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it was, uh, the, the prize was a sticker for a football team. I can't remember which oh, one. Oh, yeah. Also, I didn't know they were, like, serving food, so I just ate, like, Cracker Jacks <laughs> and a couple apple slices. Oh, yeah. I, I, 
I eat junk food snacks for dinner all day. Yes. So if you get nicked by those drill cells, they don't knock you off the wall. They just hurt you. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's forgiving, I guess. This is probably, out of the beginning fights in this level, this is probably the most difficult one. Especially if you weren't able to recruit a lot of people. Because <laughs> you need a bigger whip to pull their armor off faster. So, all, all these enemies are supposed to be the things that got injected into uh, Vrakken? Yeah, the, Vorken got a lot of Gethger injected into him at some point, and he just never noticed, I guess? I guess. I don't know. I don't know if you would really be able to feel spike tanks driving around on your cells. It, it's a good thing that a Shiragane's dentist lamp works on the same scale. <laughs> yeah. Hey Shiragane, could you have made us a little bit bigger? Like maybe twice as big. I don't know. I think I'd still be able to fit. <laughs> there's a super sneaky collectible here. You can see all those bits on the floor that are glowing. Well, there's one that doesn't glow. It's a hole to put people in. <laughs> Dang it! Yep. <laughs> That's awful. Mm -hmm. It's even worse because it's it's hiding behind that thing you have to climb on. So. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> and this is spike ball. It's a ball. It's got spikes. Yep. Uh, it's another thing you can kind of use to continuously juggle people. If you just roll underneath them and have them fall on top of you. At least then you sort of look like a virus or, or something. Yeah. I was trying to get the stupid chainsaw blades to activate, but they didn't feel like it. <laughs> I just can't get in. I need to do a rising or something beforehand, beforehand to get enough air. Um, but after that rank fight, there's a secret fight. Back here. Literally the beginning of the level. Great. Yeah. This is something, because I just finished Bayonetta 2, like, last night, and that game, for the most part, was better with how they hid the hidden fights. Mm -hmm. At least, like, the hidden portal fights, like, in this game, they were generally like, oh, they're hidden ahead if you're observant, or they're just right there and not mm -hmm. at an arbitrary point, just backtrack. Although, I will say... I was slightly disappointed in that game with his final boss fight. Oh? It was a good fight. Like, gameplay-wise, it was better than the fight in the first Bayonetta. But it wasn't... It didn't have as much spectacle as the first one. What is even the point? I mean, it was still pretty cool looking, and there was a really big, wonderful 101 one reference in the final boss fight. <laughs> so that made me pretty happy. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. But it wasn't as big, I guess. Um, but there were a lot of big boss fights in that game, so I can't complain too much. This secret fight is not too bad, really. It, it looked like the big secret was getting the uh, the remote to get all your, your little buddies. Yeah, we can just get one or two remotes throughout. It, it just becomes a pretty standard fight. It's pretty easy to handle. But we're getting an awesome thing. Mm-hmm. So I mentioned, like, two updates ago that, uh... They patched this game once, because there were a couple bugs regarding collectibles. Mm -hmm. Turns out there's still a bug regarding one collectible. You can still get it, but... The collectible can cause the game to kind of break. What? Uh, I'll explain in a second, but... Another thing I've been doing, like, the whole game is attack cancelling. This is kind of like blade mode cancelling in Rising, except mm -hmm. a lot easier to pull off. Because the, the same button you use to run is the same button you use to put your weapon away. So just hitting the, the, the dash button lets you cancel at any point. Uh, it's really good for attacks that have a lot of wind-up, like the hammer. And it's not just dashing, also dodging and blocking can cancel pretty much any attack at any point. Oh, cool. Yeah, but it... it Doing all that canceling stuff also makes it easier to juggle enemies, especially if, if you have, like, a slower weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there's one collectible in this game that pretty much nobody will get, because it's, like, a super secret collectible. 
Uh, but if you get this collectible and look at it in a specific menu and then try to load the next level of the game, it will just load infinitely and never load. What? And it will, it will, it will just break your save, so it can never that load a level so again. That is so bizarre. What is? It's really, really weird because it's does a completely. That happen? It's a completely random figurine you can get that most people will not get because it's, it's like a post-game like, third difficulty only trophy or figurine you can get. But yeah, looking at it and then, it'll just break your save file and it won't load a level again. So always make copies of your saves if you're trying to get everything in this game, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bug that 99.9% .9 of people playing this game will never, ever see. That's just the weirdest bug I've, I've heard. It's really weird. Like, there are some other bugs in this game, too, but that are most people won't encounter, but none of them, like, break the game or anything, except for that one. <laughs> so strange. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know. So, there's one attack in this game I think is kind of unfair, and it's with those little, uh, the little UFO guys. Because mm -hmm. normally their attacks are, they just charge into you, and it's easy to see because they get like a fireball effect around themselves. Right. But they have one other attack where they'll, they'll angle themselves down, down a little bit and shoot teeny tiny lasers, and they just shoot them at the ground. They don't really, like right there, they don't really shoot them at you. But it's really easy to accidentally get nicked by them because the lasers are so little and they don't have like any sound associated with them. <laughs> like Look at it's the tiny little pew pew lasers. Yeah. Like when there's other big enemies around, it's so easy to just ignore those tiny lasers and uh, at least they're easy to ukemi out of. Especially just because Oh This robot looks so much better without its spike armor. That is one pretty robot. Yeah. Like, I would have a toy of that robot. Yeah, these robots actually have slightly different designs, the the ones that are in yeah, it's Vorkin's gorgeous. Guts. Look at that. Yeah, with all the green lines and stuff, the normal ones don't have that. Oh. I like it when he just has, like, one sleeve left or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if they did make, like, little toy versions of him, it would be cool if you could snap off the, the oh, armor man. and have the Le Lego man inside. My opinion that I still hold today is that all action figures are better if they have battle damage. <laughs> <laughs> I had an Enterprise as a kid that had battle damage on it and it was way cooler than the normal one. That Enterprise had seen yeah, some shit. Yeah, that was for nerds, man. <laughs> you get battle damage, that's for cool kids. Yeah.